Monterey, California, known for Cannery Row and awesome seafood. Well, I'm in the locals area, I'm downtown, to check out a joint that the locals love, an old school, family run Italian joint. This is Rosine's. Angel hair pasta. We're down two or three times every week because it's our favorite restaurant. Chicken parmesan. I don't like it, I love it. It's better than my Sicilian grandma's. Wow, so someone's out of the will. Authentic Italian's been headlining this joint since 1980, when Chef Jim Kulkasi's parents, Jim and Rosine, made it a family affair. Everything is absolutely amazing. I've never had a bad meal here. Ultimate Burger, Reuben, table six. How long you worked here? All my life, basically, since 1980. Place? My mom's, Rosine. Really? Yeah. Is your mom Italian? Yes, Sicilian, actually. And if you time it right, you'll catch Rosine herself helping out in the kitchen. This is definitely a family. You couldn't get any more family than this. You're always walking around to make sure you got everything you want. You're going to get a wonderful home-cooked meal, wonderful portion. Here's your minestrone. Tell me about the minestrone. Minestrone's off the charts. The minestrone soup is one of the locals' favorites. We're going to make our minestrone soup. OK. We start with top brown. Then we Do we get hot? No, we start cold. Watch. I'm getting a little freaked out right now, but I'll okay. go with what you got. Dry red beans, granulated garlic and onion. Hold on, how many cups of granulated onion and garlic? A lot. Sugar, oregano, sweet basil, black pepper, bay leaves, white pepper, tomato paste, beef base. Then we add water. OK. We give it a stir, here we go. And then we add our diced tomatoes and our tomato sauce. This is, without question, one of the craziest minestrones I've ever seen. No other veggies. No, no, this is the first part. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. Okay, don't rush the song. We're gonna let this cook for about four hours. Four hours. Now we're ready to pull out all the beef. Okay. All right, let's put it on a pan. All the beef's out. You let this cool down before you shred it. Exactly. Next okay. step will be we add celery, carrots, zucchini, onions, and cabbage. I like where this is going. Now, how much longer are you going to let this cook? Till the vegetables are tender, about an hour. There we go. You take all this meat now, shred it. Shred it, yes. And throw it back in. All right, Jimmy, dish it up. A little pasta in. Okay. So I like the pasta is not floating in the pot thing, because that always drives me nuts. And then we top it off with Parmesan cheese. Start your meal. I love the cabbage in there, the shredded beef, not something you typically find in minestrone. A nice, rich broth. I mean, the whole thing. Great. It's delicious. But I want to call the real boss in. Rosine, are you back there? Now, this is the authority. You got a lot to be proud of, girl. Very oh, nice to meet you. Thank you, you guy. Very nice. And look at her. You. I mean, to the nines, the hair, the bling. We have a rule that there is no, you can't wear more bling than the host of the show. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Minestrone. Can't wait to get in your mouth. As soon as you taste it, you know that it's absolutely homemade. Here's your lamb shanks. It feels like home. You get good cooked food. It's real hearty. Fills you up. Come down Friday. That's when she's here, making the cakes. Well, I'll make you a pie. Oh. You won't forget.